a year and a half ago, I entered the fellow company office and asked them to calculate the quote for me for this house. The house in the middle of nowhere that is not connected to any source of electricity. They asked me how many people are going to live here. I said maximum two. They asked me what kind of life they're going to have, which tools they're going to use. I described that as well. And based on that, they were able to give me a quote. 23,000 euros. 23,000 euros. I didn't have that money and I did not have any expectation to be able to have that money anytime soon. I knew absolutely nothing about solar power, about electricity at that point. And for me, it sounded like the end of the story, that I made a huge mistake by buying a house without electricity, because now I can't afford to install solar panels. Well, if you watched my previous videos, you know that I did install solar panels. I have seven solar panels laying on the side of the house in the grass and another string seven solar panels over there on the roof of the house which is in total 14 solar panels 565 watts each i have battery storage which is 18 kilowatts hour and inverter which can handle the load of 11 kilowatts i want to share the cost of my entire system which is three times less than i was quoted by the solar company but for that, let me get inside of the house for the better sound. It's the season of cicad cicadas, 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 cicadas. Well, it's the season here, so it's hard to find the time when it's quiet outside. I'll get into the house and I'll show you the entire breakdown of all the costs of my solar panel installation. Gosh, it's so much better here. It's 38 outside and here inside I can enjoy about 21 degrees because of the air conditioner and this air conditioner works obviously from my solar panels and I get this energy for free from the sun oh no wait a second I did pay for my solar system right so let me show you exactly how much I did pay for every part of my solar system in the very beginning, when I just moved here, I bought an electric generator that I was using to charge my laptop and my phone and to use electric tools like jigsaw, chainsaw or other tools to work here. Also, I have a small solar panel that I was using to charge my phone and laptop and be able to work. After I got that offer from the local solar company for 23,000 euros, I was thinking that these sources of power, electric generator and small solar panel, would be my only source of power for a long, long time. But I came across one channel on YouTube where the person was talking in plain Ukrainian language about how these things work so that people without previous experience like me can understand how to set up these things. And that gave me hope that maybe I might be able to do some parts of work myself and save some money on this. I asked him to help me and he did help me. Uh, he designed the entire system for me and explained a lot of things that I didn't understand at that point. And from the very first conversation that we had, my biggest takeaway was that electric solar system is not one big unknown thing. It consists of parts, and these parts can be substituted, adjusted, installed and bought one by one. That I don't need and probably won't be able to plan the perfect system from the very beginning. But I can start with something, then upgrade or improve the system based on my needs that I will discover while using the system. This part that is behind me right now, this was the first part of my entire electric system. It's inverter and batteries. I'll start with the most expensive part, with batteries. Here are my batteries. The three blocks, six kilowatts each in total. I have 18 kilowatt hour of energy stored in these batteries. I bought these batteries second hand and I paid 1470 euros for 18 kilowatts of energy. Then inverter, it's 10.8 kilowatts. It's Chinese, the one that you can buy on AliExpress. My version is without inbuilt Wi-Fi, but it has a Wi-Fi module connected separately. Through this module, I'm able to use the application and see all statistics and usage there. This one I bought secondhand as well and paid 500 euros. Now, bus bar and all in between batteries and inverter is secondhand as well, and it costed me 250 euros. And then another part of the system, the thing that I haven't been using during the last six months, but which is very useful in case of emergency, and the thing that I was using every single day before I installed solar panels. There are two ways to charge these batteries 
from a lectern generator. I connect this cable to a lectern generator and so it goes inside the inverter. And then inverter charges the batteries. Or another way, I connect this directly to a lectern generator and it charges batteries directly without passing the inverter. And this way I'm able not only to save the losses on inverter, but also charge these batteries much faster. So for this one, I paid 150 euros. I paid for batteries 2,470 and for inverter 500 and for all the rest 400. And in total, the thing is that for this video, I counted these numbers for the first time ever. So for me, this is as new as they are for you. So for this all, I paid 3,370 euros. This all was coming from my country, Ukraine. So I paid 500 euros more for delivery. In total, for three batteries with total capacity of 18 kilowatt hours, 10.8 kilowatt inverter and everything to connect them and also to be able to charge the system with the electric generator, I paid 3,870 euros. With this setup, after I installed all this, I was able to live much more comfortable. I was able to charge my system with electric generator and then reuse this power. Also, it was so much cheaper to store the energy from electric generator versus just starting an electric generator to charge my lap laptop because I have a call in 15 minutes. I was living with this system, charging this system with my electric generator about three months. And one day the person who was helping me told me, Sabrina, look, you are spending this much on gas. You need to go to the gas station and spend your time and bring these cans of gas that cost a lot to be able to charge these batteries. You'd better buy solar panels, even if you cannot install them right now on the roof where you want them to be installed. And I couldn't because I needed to finish repairing the roof first. So he told me, you can put them just on the ground and they will already be saving money for you. And I did that. I bought seven solar panels and just put them on the ground. For this first seven solar panels that I bought, let's see the price. I didn't pay anything for installation of this system, I installed it myself. If you're wondering how I installed it, I made a video about it where I explained step by step how I installed the entire system. And then I bought my first seven solar panels that I just put on the ground, I connected them myself, so I didn't pay for installation anything as well. I only paid for material for solar panels. Let's see how much I paid. All right, it was 2nd of March. I bought seven solar panels. Each one of them costed me 100 euros. I also bought cable of two colors, black and red. In total, 18. Well, I paid for packaging and delivery out there 250 euros. Yeah, I live far away from civilization. MC connectors that I used to connect solar panels for around 15 euros, I bought them on Amazon. So this costed me 1,034 euros. I just put them on the ground. And then when I finished repairing my roof and was able to install solar panels, I paid for the company who installed them for me on the roof. They installed solar panels on the roof. They made the documentation. For me, it was very important for me that they would make the legal documentation and permissions. They also installed grounding in two in places. And also they hung this electric box for me. That wasn't very straight before, but then I fixed it and now it's straight. They put the electric box for me with one breaker. Others I installed later myself. And for this service from them, for installation, these seven solar panels and this box and grounding in two places, I paid 1,750 euros. It was in March, as you can see, and everything was beautiful until came the time that my seven solar panels were not enough in October when I wake up with zero in my batteries and I didn't want it to repeat again. And I bought another seven solar panels, which I put on the same place outside of the house. I ordered exactly the same solar panels. This time solar panel costed me 74 euros. It's just half a year later. The price was 26% less than the previous one. I paid the same for delivery and I didn't buy any cables because I had enough from the leftovers. So for this order, I paid 779 euros. I would like to thank all the members of my channel. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. For anyone who would like to support my channel, check out the join button below. And meanwhile, I'll show you what I have below. Let me boast my tomatoes to you. Just a week ago, they were green. Now look at them. I have already tried them. To be true, they were good, but not exceptionally good. But the fact that they are mine made them very tasty. All right, let's see what the solar company offered me. 10 kilowatts, 48 volts, 
And they're saying that here are included the following components. 14 solar panels, 500 watts each, 10 kilowatts Victron Quattro inverter, which is a little bit less than mine, but I think it's of better quality. Six lithium batteries, 3.5 kilowatt hours, which in total would have given me 21.5 kilowatt hours, and what I have is 18. But the type that I have, NMC, is significantly cheaper. Maybe these are better, but in one or two or three years, I might be able to buy these significantly cheaper. Because the prices for these things, they're not going up, they're going down and I would prefer to pay less when I need to. Also included all types of cables and everything and works for installing all this. Interestingly enough, they didn't offer the thing that I really needed, the charger block or the way to charge this system from electric generator for emergency, but they did offer the thing that I didn't need. They offered the separate system for water pump for another 3,000 euros. But actually at that point I wasn't able to tell if their offer is good or bad. I wasn't able to do this because I didn't have the proper knowledge to make conclusion if this is a good offer or not. So I guess I got the offer that as a client I deserved. So in the end for now I have two strings of solar panels, seven tiles on the roof, seven on the side of the house, 14 solar panels, 565 watts each batteries that can store 18 kilowatt hours of energy, inverter of 10.8 kilowatts, and everything that is needed to connect all the system together. And all this is for a fraction of the price that I was asked to pay by a local solar company. I'm very glad that it turned out how it turned out, and it's not only about money, it's also about freedom. For me it was a little bit annoying how they gave me this offer, where you cannot see how much you're paying for what, how much you're paying for work, how much you're paying for parts of the system. I think this is designed for the customer that have no idea what they're paying for, their task as a customer, open the wallet and pay. I don't feel well being in such situation when I'm supposed just to open the wallet and pay, especially that I didn't have that money. So I'm very happy that I was able to install my electric system because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this. And I think it was only possible because of three things. First, I had a knowledgeable person who guided me throughout the entire process. Second, I bought everything except solar panels second hand. And third, I installed everything myself. I installed my inverter, batteries, bus bar and connected everything together myself without previous experience or any special tools. Check out the video about it, it should be on the screen right now. And I'll see you in another video with another story. Cheers! Bye!